So I am fishing with Carter again. We are up in a little city, our little town uh, called Dolores up in uh, uh, south, uh, southern Colorado area. And we're gonna be fishing the Dolores River. We are literally gonna be the only people here. We're in the middle of a forest. Um, the campground is not even open, but we can park right here and walk down. Um, you can be in there, you just can't park in there. Um, but it is gorgeous around here. As I walk through the campground heading to the creek, I thought to myself that this is much more peaceful than fishing the busy San Juan River. The spot on the river looked really good. There was a large rock changing the current a bit, and it looked like it should have fish. However, after fishing it for 10 minutes, I realized there wasn't anything there. We're gonna keep on walking up the river a bit. Got hot out, if you notice, I took off my jacket. There's still snow on the ground, so. But we're gonna keep on walking to see if we can't spot a couple trout. It's amazing how quickly the weather turned hot. Just a day or two prior to this trip, it was below 30 degrees and snowing. We found this fallen tree right at the edge of a private property, which looked like a great spot. For some reason though, my thingamabobber kept sliding down the line, right to the fly. It happened again. And again. Geez, I need to fix this. Well, even though the spot looked great, there was absolutely no fish. All right, so nothing at that up, upper spot there. We're just not seeing them. So we went down a little ways, find some deep holes, because they're gonna be deep. It's still cold, so we're hoping, but gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at this. It's amazing. We walked up the river a bit and found this deep pool right below some riffles. Carter was fishing a double tail leech, and before I had a chance to even wet my line... What was that? Got one! Nice! It's a good one. Carter was really excited. I hadn't even taken my rod out yet. <laughs> Look at that fish. That thing is beautiful, man. Good fish, man. That I think this might be my record. I'm not nice. joking. Like, Congrats, dude. So it is perfectly legal to keep fish at this spot. And Carter had planned on barbecuing at his house if he caught one. So he decided to bring that fish home with him. As Carter walked the fish back to his cooler, which was in the car, I tried my luck at that spot. I tried nymphing and then switched to streamer, but I think Carter caught the only fish in that pool. We walked up the river a bit through some heavy brush looking for spots, 
But when we didn't find anything, we decided to take a shortcut back to the car. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. We just climbed up a massive cliff. We're out of breath, we're tired. But it's better than walking through this dense crap all the way back. There's really no path. So we left the river um, right alongside the river, a couple uh, lakes that they stock. They're all frozen over, but one is not. So we're going to try it. Um, they're all connected, so we're guessing a lot of the trout. I think they have trout and bass supposedly, right? Yeah. Um, are probably going to be in the non-frozen over one, maybe. So I don't know how that one's not frozen over and the other are, but just how it is. So I grabbed my streamer rod with a sink tip line to get deeper in this small lake. And within just two casts, I hooked up with a fish. However, he got off even though I was fishing with a large hook and a barb. Then the wind picked up. I got a few more bites, but it seemed as if they were hitting just the tail and not getting the hook. We fished around the lake trying different spots. I got multiple hits where they would just hit the tail only. However, I didn't have any flies with me that had trailer hooks. Hearing that there were smallmouth bass in this lake, I decided to try fishing a flashy streamer under this small dock. Dang it! Holy crap! Is there pike in here? I got bit off clean. I was using a 4X fluorocarbon tippet, so something toothy must have bit. Yeah! No! And another hookup with the fish getting loose. I was so confused, since this was a large streamer with a barbed hook. Yeah, it's when I get kind of close to this thing. There's something sitting there. Ah! Oh, sitting still, it picked me up. Well, I kept fishing that spot and a few around the lake. I had multiple hits without actually sticking a fish solid. Carter even tried his spinning rod with no luck as well. Just many hits, but no fish. It was getting late so we decided to head out. We had an hour and a half drive back to the house and we wanted to get back before dark. Overall, it was a really enjoyable day, even though I didn't land any fish. But the fact that Carter was able to bring in his largest trout to date was worth the trip. And just being out in this beautiful country land was amazing. It was the first day of warm weather and it sure feels like spring is right around the corner. I am definitely going back to the Dolores River soon. I think next time though, I'll be prepared and bring some streamers with stinger hooks on the back of the tail. Hopefully I will be able to find out firsthand if there are a pike in that small pond. <laughs>